<laughs> this may be this may be like way too much, way too gimmicky, but uh, we'll see if we can pull it off. Hey, I'm Heath Bromley. I'm an engineer turned actor, and I'm gonna try and document what I hope is gonna be a long, crazy ride. I got an audition recently that challenged me in a few creative ways, and I thought it was a perfect opportunity to show how I shoot a lot of my audition clips without a reading partner. <gasps> I know, it's a big faux pas some would think, but there's a way, I think there's a pretty creative way to get around it. And this audition had not only that, but some other creative solutions that I had to come up with because I didn't have somebody in the room to help me shoot the audition. But before we get into that, we gotta set up and we gotta do our hair. Okay, that's over with. Got my key light, which is a DIY key light. I'll try and put a link in the description. Um, made it for like 40 bucks and it's really, really good. So you don't have to spend 700 bucks on an aperture 120. And then another um, accessory light. Uh, I don't know what the term is. Still learning. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is uh, obviously read the script and see how much voiceover I'm gonna have to do because I, Maybe I'm just selfish or bad, but I don't have readers. And I like to work fast. I like to get my auditions in very, very quickly within like 24 hours of being uh, told I have the audition. So um, this is what I do. I go on Audacity and I read all the lines and then I mute my lines that I'm actually reading for and I read off of myself. Stop it, stop it, here, just take it, just stop. This ain't even 200, where's the rest? Take it, it's a classic, worth a lot more than 10 grand. Just take it and leave us alone, okay? Hey cutie, what's your name? And we'll do that a couple times until we find something we like. So, I'm gonna put it in um, Premiere. And then practice with the timing over and over again. Okay. Put it on the loudspeaker, and now I'll start practicing my lines. I'm gonna be here for a while until I get the timing just how I want it. And then right as I go in to continue hitting him, I'll try and get that timing to where she says stop it. So I just hit him, ah, 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 ah. Don't go anywhere. Give us the money. <laughs> right there. Stop it, so here, it's pretty take close. it, just stop. It's pretty close, it's pretty close. Tell us where our dad is. Punch. August. He punches me back. I react. I grab him. I want it right there. I'm already starting to think about how do I want this to come across on screen and trying to make it not super cheesy. So basically there's a fight. One of the characters, the girlfriend or, or the girl, of the character that's getting beat up by my character stops the fight by throwing us uh, the keys to her car. So maybe I, I take a hit, I go to grab him, just just past the camera and kind of come in really close. Maybe I'll even put something on the other side of the camera to give a little bit of like a tactile sound, you know, like a kind of sound. All right, let's, let's rig something up for the keys. I think it'd be really cool to actually catch the keys from off camera. So let's see if we can actually figure that out. So I'm just gonna kind of be quick and dirty here. I'm just gonna try and clamp the carabiner. Oh, yes. What I'll do is I'll just try and get the timing right. But I'll grab. That's fantastic. Look at that. That's great. Reach up just off camera, grab it. So they'll be there the whole time. Okay, let's just rep some takes. What are you gonna do about just it? Just give us the August! <laughs> oh, classic. Worth a lot more than 10 grand. Just take it and leave us alone. We're gonna try something just different. Um, I don't know what. She said you had the money. I don't know, babe. These pockets feel kind of empty. Take it. It's a classic. Worth a lot more than 10 grand. Just take it and leave us alone. 
And after two hours and 35 takes, the last thing we need to do is slate according to their instructions, throw it all into Adobe and color grade, and then click submit. All right, and now we just, we finished. We sit, and we wait patiently, clicking refresh over and over again on our email to see if we got a call back. But I haven't been doing this very long, so we're all learning together.